Okay, so coming back to this question, you say a stream of warm water is produced in a steady flow mixing process by combining 1.0 kg per second of cool water at 25 degrees Celsius with 0.8 kg per second of hot water at 75 degrees Celsius during the mixing. Heat is lost to the surrounding at the rate of 30 kJ per second. What is the temperature of warm water steam? One water stream, okay, assuming the specific heat capacity of water is constant, that's, uh, that's 4.18 kJ per kilogram per Kelvin. So we can write our data. So data for cold water. You know, they've not given us mass, but they've given, given us mass flow rate, which is what? 1.0 kilogram per second, that's for cold water, and the cold water's temperature, initial temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And hot water, the mass flow rate is 0.8 kilogram per second, and the temperature was 75 degrees Celsius. After the mixing, something is going to happen. They all attain the same equilibrium or final temperature, thermal final temperature. And they say in the same process, heat is lost to the surrounding. So the heat lost by the hot water, some is gained by the cold water, and some is also lost by hot, by the surrounding. So we know how to write the equation for that. Let's say heat. Uh, lost by the cold water is what qh heat lost by the cold water is, is qh is going to be equal to heat gained by the cold water let's make it qc plus heat loss to the surrounding qs because from the first law of thermodynamics the total energy of the universe remains constant that means if heat is lost by the cold water that means it's either gain if heat is lost by the hot water that means it's either gain by the cold water and what and the surrounding. So from here, we know how to write our equation. That will be M times Cp times change in temperature. This one to the same. So now let's come back to our work. So we know heat loss is equal to by hot water is equal to heat gained by cold water plus heat gained by the surrounding. Then we write our expression. But here they've given us mass flow rate, and you know when you do, let's look at the unit. When you have here mass flow rate, which is what? Kilogram per second, multiplying your CP. The unit for CP is what? Is joule per kilogram per Kelvin. Multiplying change in temperature, which will also be what? Change in temperature, which will also be what? Kelvin. So you can see, you can see in this case, kilogram will cancel kilogram. Kelvin will cancel Kelvin. So we are going to be left with what? Joule per second. And this joule per second means what? It actually means power. And in the question, they say the rate of heat loss to the surrounding is what? 30 kilojoule per second. That means everything here is in their unit. We, when we are adding things like this, you make sure they are having the same unit. Since they are having the same unit, which is joule per second, we can now go ahead with our work. So the next thing is we just substitute. We don't know. Here, yeah, the, for the hot water, the initial temperature will be higher than the final temperature so to find the difference difference must always be positive so 75 minus t so t is our final temperature here for the cold water the final temperature will be higher than the initial that's why the t minus 25 plus the p you know this is power this is also power because they are giving us mass flow rate as i explained earlier so when you do your multiplication substitute incorrectly and you do your multiplication here yeah, I divided two by k in order to eliminate, eliminate the thousand. You know kilo, kilo k is thousand, is a kilo. So I did my division throughout. Then you saw, you saw fourteen. You are going to get forty-three point twenty-three degrees Celsius.